Welcome back to the vlog. Today is April 13th. It's Friday the 13th. It's also my 13th day looking for elk sheds this season. And I've never really been a superstitious person. Well, I have the last five years because in uh, 2012, July 13th, it was our 13th day trailing in horses, Arctic Red River Outfitters. But we had to skirt around this big giant cliff. So we untied all the horses, ran them up one at a time. This big giant blue roan, uh, his name was Cookie. He goes up, he gets stuck on a log. So he's trying to jump over it and he's got pack boxes on him. We lose control of the horses. All the horses started running up this thing. And then the horse right behind him took out his bottom legs. And so Cookie tipped over backwards, falling down the mountain. Here comes Cookie, he falls off a 40 foot cliff, lands right on his head, right in the river about 10 feet in front of me and just dead. One of the crazier things I've ever seen. Yeah, wigs you out a little bit to be hiking around on Friday the 13th. Not too worried about it, although I did cut a grizzly track this morning, so hopefully I don't get eaten. So quick recap, our 11th day out shed hunting, I was with my buddy Isaac. Day started out super epic. I hear this low like, ooh, and I was like, holy frick, what is that? <laughs> It was a wolf, and uh, he was about 500 yards across the other side of the coulee. So I howled back at him, and next thing you know, he comes basically trotting like over towards where I'm at. I got a cool photo through my iPhone, courtesy of this device right here. This is a phone scope, so obviously your phone goes in here, and I stuck it right up to my binoculars. I was able to shoot a photo through it. Cool little device, it's just, it's a cell phone case that mounts onto basically any optic that you have. So the rest of the day, we just post hold in deep snow all over the place. But there wasn't much sign, and so I decided to change things up. I dropped down probably 1500 vertical. I was kind of just hiking out. I was just kind of, you know, hiking with my tail between my legs a little bit. Spotted a little six point, and I went and picked it up. Sweet. <laughs> That'll do. And then I walked like five more minutes. There's a giant elk shed laying on the ground. <laughs> and when it rains, it pours. I just found a big one. Yes. Ugh. Holy moly. <laughs> Man, I hate to even like touch it. <laughs> Here we go. That is dope. Ah, yes. Best day ever. <laughs> you ended up being an eight point. Super cool. Grid search the living daylights out of that country for basically five hours until we pretty much ran out of light. Isaac and I went back to the same spot two days later. He finds three elk sheds. One happened to be the match to the little six point and then he found another match set. As he's looping down, I'm like down in the bottom, just grid search an area, an area that I hadn't already. I hear yelling up the basin and I was like, oh crap, like did Isaac like <laughs> get whacked by a bear? Who knows? So I yell back at him and then he screams back, I found it. <laughs> Yeah, he found it. It was crazy. It was probably 20 yards from the edge of my grid search zone from two days prior, which goes to show like, you know, even areas that get pounded by other guys, there's always a chance you could find a good one. Awesome day. So stoked that Isaac was able to match that guy up and find three other ones. Pretty cool. Yeah, so here I am, 13th day out, April 13th, Friday, seeing what I can find and seeing if I can turn up something else. So keep it posted. Yep. 